BR Tidwell 55 here. Uh, this is just a quick little video to show you the KD 4.1 desktop, or at least a uh, uh, little little thing that I have done with it. Uh, KD 4.0 came out. Uh, took a lot of criticism for not being polished, uh, for some things not working quite right. It's updated to 4.1 now. They fixed a lot of those issues and addressed some of the criticisms. Now KDE 4.0 uh, when it came out, it came out with its own desktop effects uh, in, in the KWIN manager, but you can actually, you can still use uh, Compiz Fusion. As you can see here, there's the cube slash cylinder effect. And uh, anyway, you're not you're not locked into using the KWIN window manager. Now, one of the things that people uh, criticized about KD 4.0 was the new kickoff menu. Uh, Got to admit, not a fan of it myself. Uh, I kind of I don't think it's as easy to use as the old style uh, kicker menu that was in uh, KD in the KD 3 series, but you can change that, and and I'll show you right, and I'll show you how to do that here. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is right-click on the K, and right there it says switch to classic menu style. Click that, boom, it's done. You're back to the classic KDE 3 series uh, menu. And the nice thing about this is if you're using the Compiz effects and you've got your uh, and you've got your opacity settings right. My opacity settings here on on the uh, pop-up menu are about 75%, and you and you and you have that uh, transparency effect there, which is pretty attractive. Another thing uh, you can see uh, what I've done here is I've also created myself another panel where I have uh, put my uh, where where I've put uh, icons for my commonly used applications and uh, and folders uh, just uh, make it a little easier for me to use a computer and yeah I know this isn't as slick or as cool as uh, say Cairo doc or Avant, Avant window manager uh, some of those other doc like applications but this is something that's you can do it's pretty easy to do and you don't have to download uh, or install anything else this the ability to do this is built into uh, into KDE 4.0 4.1 so anyway that's uh, about it thanks for watching